I'm David Buck and welcome to Café Bellini. This is the first piece of rails that you see when you walk into the door. It's big in scale, very, very blue. There's a mermaid down here with fabulous breasts. It appears a lot in Raoul's work. He's got on a fool's cap, but all the other accoutrement of Mercury. This one is uh, very popular with the women who come in here. It's very bright, very yellow. It reminds me of Angela Davis, Black Panther leader in the 1960s in the States. Very mournful look. So a lot of Raoul's work features seascapes. This is the most nautical one that he's done. See the shells, almost like nautiluses here. Lovely, lovely picture. I love the scale of this one. There's homage to many, many different artists in this. I love the sunflowers of Van Gogh. I love. Uh, there's a touch of persistence of memory. Dali's picture here with the shell and the watermelon. Beautiful big picture. Very, very vibrant. This is the most Italian picture of rails that we have here. It's, it's in the same style as Bobbiani, but there's the grapes there and, uh, and the vineyards. Beautiful big sun. And just a little, little birds, just a tiny little touches just to break up that surface. Fabulous, fabulous picture. And wherever you go in this room, her eyes are always watching. This one is more Pembrokeshire than any other painting that Raoul has got in, in this restaurant. Uh, reminds me of looking out towards Caldy Island, which will be over here. Uh, there's another artist, John Knapp Fisher, who's done a very similar picture to that woman there, but I suspect uh, that's heaven, I suspect. This is the most gothic and moody picture of, of Rails here in the gallery. Uh, I find this one quite disturbing, actually, because it looks like there's a storm coming up this way. And very soon that moon's going to be obscure. There are two pictures up here I like in Rails. This one, particularly. I've got a, a similar one in Rails to this. Uh, I like the fact that it's organic. It's not quite finished, the visit's not quite finished. There's no spots on the, on the ladybird. But I like the depth and I love the colours. I love the fact that it's, it's a trick of the eye. You should be looking out, and all of this is the exterior of the building. And you're looking out through it. Fabulous, fabulous. The shells feature a lot in Raoul's work as well. Um, there's one or two over there that have um, got the shells. It's just a nice continuation. This one I like particularly well. Uh, I knew where it was before I even knew where Raoul had painted it. But that's mid towards the middle bill, the soul. You can see the valleys, there's a couple of houses there. But it's got an angry femininity about it. It's, uh, it's almost genital. I love, I love the anger. I love the texture of the inside there. Fabulous music. About this painting is the fact that it looks so simple when you first glance at it. Just these charcoal lines and it looks very casual in the way the paint seems to have been flicked on the canvas. But when you look closer you see all the work, all the love that's gone into it, all the detail around the eyes and the lips and the gold on the crown. And it could be a female this very feminine face. This is a reflection on the end of the day. There's a sunrise, sunset in the background. End of the day, pensive face. An old sun, lots of heat, warmth coming out of it and she's turning her head, almost warming herself against the sun. She may be standing with a mirror in front of her and the reflection of the sun bouncing off the mirror onto her face and all these splashes of fire here.
This is Raoul's unique vision of Pembrokeshire. With all the colours, the sky, the sand, the green hills, all coming into a waterfall of colour, an abstract shape. Fire, earth, all the elements coming, the bit of sky and a little bit of the world in the corner. This is an intimate piece of never-ending art which Raoul is constantly working on. The foreground figures are almost finished, but the background is constantly changing every time I see this painting. We're almost invited to look at the intimate moment of the Annunciation. With, with, with the, the kneeling angel almost deferring to the Virgin. There are two frames, the gold, the wood, and even the pillars on either side act to frame the image. It can be a static image, but the background is quite busy. The beautiful castle, the walkway with the tree by the river, the bridge. And it's just so beautiful and the colours. It's really, it's mysterious. It's everything you would want in a picture, really. It's a really pity because I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> I like. I like the windows. It's like a, a sort of time capsule. It's a space on the world. You know, you look through it as though you were on holiday. You know, it's it's very restful, stress-free kind of feeling, um, as though you're about to enter to to that world. The one that probably is my favourite is actually window, but a doorway. And uh, I like the, the doorway, the arches above. It's a kind of mystery because you don't know what's in the arches. And the ladybird on the side. Yeah, this is more complex than the other one. I started to do this about called the Windows and Door for Pembrokeshire of Wales. Now when you walk around Wales and you see those dirty, broken old building, stone building, and sometimes the frame is still standing. And you can walk inside the house and look outside and you could see the frame and you can see the landscape yeah. at the same time. But then I let them incorporate the moon and it's more like an abstract idea, more universal. And those is more like a, when I go on holiday, I, I like this old-fashioned uh, building with character art, the special Italian buildings and the textures. And it's also a little bit of Caribbean as well there with the chair and the. It's actually very Pembrokeshire because. 
down at Monkhaven. There Where? Was, Monkhaven. Um, there was um, a wall with a doorway, and you went through the doorway onto the beach. So that one is, is so like that. They, they've Zoom actually right. sort of um, taken the doorway, so it's a space now. But it is that kind of you know, you go through woodland and then a doorway onto a beach. It's more, mm. it's like a, like a, a walking by, alone by yourself and uh, experience of the Lamas Gay alone, the way yeah. you're working by yourself. Yeah.